Hey everybody, it's Father Josh here with another road trip pilgrimage. Today we've traveled to the La Salette Shrine in Enfield, New Hampshire. Uh, we're gonna check this place out. I hear there's lots of great places to, to pray, lots of different things to do, lots of things to explore here. Uh, and we'll be meeting with Father John Sullivan, who's the shrine director and uh, one of the La Salette missionary priests. Uh, so let's check it out. grounds of Our Lady of La Salette Shrine in Enfield. Uh, we look over there, we've got, um, uh, that's a kind of a, a chapel that has all these uh, collections of nativity scenes from around the world. You go up the hill, you've got this rosary walk with all these, uh, all these stations for all the decades of the rosary. You keep going up, you see all the stations of the cross all the way across the top of this hill. Uh, a walk up to Our Lady of La Salette, and even some stairs leading up to a crucifixion scene. Absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful collection of things right here. So we picked one of the hottest days of the year to come up to Enfield, and their chapel is air conditioned and it is wonderful. <laughs> have the, the weeping mother it's always it's always the weeping mother and yet they're just a very joyful uh, order joyful community they're, they're big into Christmas and nativity scenes and all that stuff after briefly exploring and praying in the chapel we met the shrine director father John Sullivan Father Jean shared extensively about the history of La Salette. He showed me pictures of the original location. It really helped me get immersed in the story of La Salette, of this apparition of our Blessed Mother. And you could tell just by talking to him how, how much he, he loved our Blessed Mother, how much he loves um, the La Salette apparition and the message that it has for the world. All right, so this is a facsimile. Yeah. Fa fa facsimile. Fac 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 facsimile. <laughs> Of the, very <laughs> of the very first apparition. Yes. Well, it was and only once. She only oh, it was only once. once. Okay. So oh, at yeah. first she was on, she was... She yeah, the, the two little children, Maximum, he was 11, uh -huh. and Melanie was, was 14. They had just met the day before, and they were so dirt poor, they were, they were hired out to shepherd a couple cows, four or five cows, up uh -huh. on the hillside. And La Salette is the name of a little village of only about... There were only 50 or 60 families. On the September 19th of 1846, they had taken a little, a little nap after having lunch. And when they woke up, they said, where are the cows? <laughs> and they, they ran up a ravine and they saw the cows were okay. But as they turned back to where they had been sitting, they saw this globe of light. And, and Maximum said, he had a stick and he said, if it moves, I'll hit it with my stick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but then they gradually saw that it was a woman, you know, seated like that, and she stood up, and the first thing she said was, don't be afraid, my children. Come close, I have good news for you. Okay. And it, and it just seemed to dissipate all their fear. And she was dressed like the women of that day, with the, the, the work apron, the bonnet. She actually, she had no crown. We just do that to kind of uh, personify the yeah. light, the light leaving oh, okay, from yeah. her, her forehead. And uh, so she, so she just talked briefly. So the kids ran down. So this was the first phase. Was just that we call it the, the weeping or the, the call to repentance. Yeah. They say you couldn't have a, a, a fourth person couldn't have walked between the two of them. Okay. They were so they were close. Right there. And she was just very maternal. And then she said, "Do you pray well, my children?" And in the honesty of the, the kids, they said, "Well, not really, not very much." And she said, "Well, you pray." in the morning, in the evening, but if you, if you don't have time, at least pray an hour, Father, and a Hail Mary. You know, very maternal. Yeah, yeah. What was happening was a famine. She predicted the, mm -hmm. and my, my, my parents were born in Ireland, 
In the 1848, there was a horrible famine of potatoes that a million Irish people died during that. Yeah. But it was not just, Fr not just Ireland, it was France too. And then she started to walk up the hill and we, it wasn't this, we, we, we kind of made, made the station path, yeah. to the cross. Yeah. And she got up at the top and she, uh, and she said it before she gets the truck, she said, make this, well, my children, make this message known to all my people. Basically, penance, prayer, and, and enthusiasm to make known the good news, hmm. evangelization. Father John spoke to me about La Salette's call for prayer and action, about prayer and service to others. He talked about it in terms of both a vertical and a horizontal dimension of life, that we need to love God, kind of this vertical relationship, and also love our neighbor, a horizontal reach to the world. Essentially, the charism of the La Salette Order is the ongoing invitation to take a step towards reconciliation, towards being brought back together with God. If one were to come visit uh, here, what, were, what are some things they could do? Yeah, okay, now that's a good question. Well, they could go to Mass. We built that the chapel. It's a beautiful chapel. We're going to stop by you. Well, you already have, I think. Uh, so we have 11.30, uh, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. So they could go to Mass. They could visit the, the, the A-frame. Oh, it's, it's open now because I can see the flag. The, the mangers from all over the world, that's mm -hmm. all, that 9 to 5 every day. It's, it's opened. Uh, and also they could go to the gift shop. Uh, Wayne Vanessa is our the manager of the bookstore and it's beautiful religious articles and of course literature on La Salette and, uh, and books and everything. So it's the gift shop, the cafeteria, the A-frame and, uh, and then the major, the major uh, chapel. But they have the, the, the rosary walk is there the, for the joyful, sorrowful and glorious mysteries. And then right here is the luminous mystery, so mm -hmm. we have all four. And then we also have the facsimile of the apparition, that the people can walk up and enjoy that and pray about it and learn more about it. And they, we also have the, the way of the cross. And then right up here, uh, right between the, the seventh and eighth stations, we have what we call the holy steers. Mm -hmm. But we, we have to try to fix it up. You know, the Knights of Columbus are going to help us. But they can walk up those steps. And then, of course, that, that's the, the Jesus dies. So there's the, the, the crucifix and John, the evangelist, and the Blessed Mother. So we're going to go into the A-frame chapel here where they have displays of manger scenes from around the world. As Father John was telling us, this is their theme this year is Mary, uniter of all cultures. And here we see, you know, the impact Catholicism has had all over the world. We have all these representations of the manger scene from all over the world. It's really a beautiful thing to see them all together in one place like this. Uh, we're about to walk down, I think they call it the Peace Walk, uh, with different figures representing peace, uh, not just Catholic figures, but people who have fought for peace around the world. It's such a peaceful spot. You know, you go walking around this little pond and every every decade of the rosary you have a representation, a little, a little plaque, and then each of these rose uh, medallions as you go around is another decade of the rose, or another Hail Mary. Uh, so you could really take your time and spend some time going around this pond, just being at peace, playing, praying the rosary here. And on top of all the, the peacefulness of the shrine, 
you look out over the hillside and you have Mascoma Lake, this beautiful, this beautiful spot uh, as kind of the backdrop for it all. So you got beauty all around you here. Lend me your ears. Here we are at the Shrine of La Salette. <laughs> That's too much. Boy, they got a lot of stairs here. <laughs> they say a pilgrimage, you should have to work for the spiritual experience a little bit. Well, we're working. Why did we pick the hottest day of the year? And if you make it all the way to the top of the hill, you're rewarded with uh, these very realistic uh, Stations of the Cross that stretch the whole way across this hillside. Here we see the holy stairs where people can ascend on their knees, as, as Father John said, praying on each step as they ascend. It's just one of those places where, like, the whole place is just wrapped up in this sense of peace, the sense of beauty, the sense of nature. Uh, timelessness, uh, it's just a beautiful place to come and pray. So Father John, thanks so much, thanks so much for, for talking with us this morning. It's, it's, you know, we've known each other for a while, but yeah. we've never really gotten to talk about uh, your charism and the La Salette apparitions, and it's just really nice to talk to you today. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, you touched my heart because I, and that's what I really want to tell the people is that, that everybody's welcome. And, and even if you know, I don't, I'm not there to judge anybody, you know, if they don't go to church or something like that, just to come, it's a place to pray, it's a place to kind of people to encounter themselves in the presence of God. A place to reconnect. To, yeah, yeah, right. That's to great. That's beautiful. with God and, you know, maybe if people have a, some kind of a resentment or some, some problem with a family member or a neighbor, this can be a place to come for forgiveness and we have confessions of obviously you know before mass and on saturday and sunday or any time to make an appointment this is father joe and i and then there's a third priest that we're hoping paul bellinger that's going to be joining us and he used to work at st helena's right here oh, okay you know, yeah in, in enfield well thanks so much um, uh, it was really great to talk to you today all right okay <laughs> well peace to you and and let's pray for vocations you know, one of my big takeaways from, from coming here today uh, was just from being able to talk with Father John about the apparition of La Salette. You know, my, I, I think when a lot of times you hear about this apparition the first time, you, you hear about Our Lady kind of crying, and it sounds like a very sad uh, kind, of, kind of dreary message, a warning about a plague or a famine and all these things. But you talk with, with Father John, and what comes through so clearly uh, through what he says, and even just from who he is as a as a person and as a priest, is the power of the joy and the hope that comes from this apparition, the the idea of reconciliation, and you just see that even you know talking with with Father John for a few minutes. So one of my takeaways is is you almost need to to talk to one of these missionary priests of La Salette and see the vision through their eyes in order to kind of get what it's all about. Yeah, so this was our visit. This was our visit to the, the La Salette Shrine. What a beautiful place to be able to come to walk around, even if you just want to take a walk, um, pray a rosary. It's a beautiful place to come and do that. If you want to do Stations of the Cross, if you want to come to Mass here, uh, they have talks, they have the, the lights. Uh, Christmas time are really beautiful here. They do all sorts of great stuff. Um, you know, if you, have a, if you have a summer day, want to go for a drive, it's a beautiful place to come, walk around, pray a little bit, reconnect with God, reconnect with your own spirit. Um, just a great place to come and, uh, and, and explore.